hello everybody. Thanks for being here live. I'm gonna say hello to everybody. Let a couple more minutes for everybody to join. It's 7 p.m. here. Tell me uh, what time it is for you right now where you're at, uh, when you're calling in from. Um, Patty says, I'm here for it. I don't usually do webinars this late, but I'm excited to, to have more of you join from overseas and um, all over the world, really. Heather, it's eight where you are. I'm glad to see you back here. I saw you jump on just as I was wrapping up um, the other one, so I'm glad you made it back. Um, Karen, thanks for oh, 10 a.m. in Melbourne. Good morning. I love it. Australia's in the house. Suzanne, good to see you. Joey, I'm so excited to start seeing more people in person, but for right now, this will have to do, and I love that I can see you guys uh, this way. Um, so great. Hokey doke. <clears throat> uh, it's a little, I did this earlier today. Some of you guys may have saw it. We had really, really awesome participation. So I think you guys got to bring it. I'm going to get a little punchy. I've got some ideas for some extra giveaways and incentives for everybody to make you joining now that much um, more worth it for you. All right. Um, thanks for being here, George. Uh, you've been with us since the beginning. Uh, really, really appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for being here. I want to make sure whether you're just joining us, if you're familiar with Sticky, if you're brand new to Sticky, that you are going to get a ton of value out of today. So without further ado, keep saying hello. Keep letting me know what you're stuck and challenged with so I can help. Uh, but let's let's dig in and give you guys some quick wins. Today, I'm going to talk about the Booking and Sales Booster System. I've got to get more creative with my titles, but this is I'm just too straightforward. <laughs> I want to help you guys with these two things. It's in three simple strategies to building a wildly profitable photography business, even if you're part-time and want to stay that way. Let me know here, guys, uh, if you're part-time or if you're full-time, in which one, if you're part-time, are you working towards full-time or do you like it that way? Let me know where you're, what, where you're at right now with your photography business. I'm curious. Um, some of you, I'm curious if you've seen the Sell More Toolkit. Some of you may be here watching the replay on demand uh, because you purchased the Sell More Toolkit. Well, I've got good news for you. If you like what you see so far, the next part is really exciting where we take these first two puzzle pieces and build in some awesome automation and technology to consistently create more bookings on your calendar all the while increasing, sometimes even 3Xing your revenue without any weird tricks or manipulations, just being an authentic educator and teacher and, and, and be doing better at inspiring people to invest in you. All right. Let me see what kind of comments we got coming in here. Um, Joey's part-time open for full-time. Karen is full-time. Patty, you're full-time. Part-time, I'm, I'm tired of not earning what I'm worth. I hear it, Heather. Let's get it. Uh, Suzanne, thank you guys for being here. Okay. So here's my promise. Here's what we're going to walk through today. And give me another thumbs up that the audio and video is coming through good for you guys. I'm going to show you a simple system that's going to get you consistent inquiries. It's the first thing for turning the traffic that you have on your website, whether it's a lot or a little. We're going to show you how to turn the traffic you have into inquiries like nothing else. And then nurture those inquiries into bookings. And not just any bookings. Bookings that will turn into clients who will happily pay you 3x more than your competition. How does that sound? That's what the results we're getting for people using this system already. And I'm really excited to show it to you. So before I show you the three-part strategy, what I want to do is show you first a case study. I want to show you evidence, show you the, the story about how this system's working and the results people are getting. Then I'm going to show you like a baking show, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's fully built, but we're going to put ourselves in the shoes of somebody who's shopping for a photographer. Whenever we're working in our marketing, we've got to put ourselves in other people's shoes, right? Then once you see, once you're convinced that this system is even something you want to build based on how it's working and what it looks like, 
then you get to decide if it's worth your time sticking with me for the rest of the workshop today to learn how you can implement this three-part strategy, all right? Here we go. Meet Melissa. Some of you guys have heard her story. Thank you, Holly, for being here. Uh, George, holy cow, congratulations. Dennis, thanks for being here. I love it. Okay, so Melissa, pretty sure she's full-time now. She is based in Mattoon down here just a little ways outside of Chicago. Tell me if you can resonate. When we first started working with her, she said, Nate, I don't know, man. My city can't afford any more. I'm already the most expensive high school senior photographer. Um, people, I can't go any higher, right? I'm capped out. And too many of my clients only care about the digitals. Let me know if you can relate to that. And now after launching the system with Melissa, hear what happened for her. Well, before reworking the uh, pricing guide with Shannon, it was my high school senior average was two ninety nine. Now that it's gone live, uh, my average is a thousand dollars. They don't even look at my lowest package anymore. They they don't even want anything to do with it. <laughs> so it's just awesome. They don't even look at the lowest package anymore. It's just awesome. I love hearing that every single time. So how would you guys like to 3X or even double your pricing? Let me know if this resonates, if you can relate to these challenges, because I want to help solve them. Um, so if you guys want to double or more your sales, give me a thumbs up or a yes in the comments. <clears throat> and also, uh, I'm going to share a couple things, but I want to hear what are your biggest challenges? Are you Is it more important for you to get more bookings right now, just just inquiries, just to get the phone ring at all? Or are you okay with bookings and you just really want to focus on maybe even shooting less, but increasing your profit? Let me know what is more important to you right now. Here we go. You guys, the late night crew is ready to go. Look at all this participation. Our, Michelle wants more bookings. I love it. All right. I get it, guys. Running a portrait photography business can sometimes be really hard, especially in the last year and a half. We've all been tested. We keep working and working and working just to sometimes feel like we are ending up right back where we started. Just knocking us down. If we keep, we're not gonna cry, we gotta laugh. So we're all here to support each other and how hard it's been and to learn from what's working and eliminate some of the mistakes that we're making, right? Um, so let's see, Susan is saying, more bookings, Karen's more bookings, and Keely, congrats, increasing profit with fewer bookings. All of these are awesome, and I'm gonna help you guys. So we're gonna go deeper than just the surface. Of course, all of you want these two things. Every business wants these, right? But the specific challenges that I keep hearing on my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls um, with, with you guys is you're just not getting enough inquiries, and then when you do finally get an inquiry, you're getting ghosted. Tell me if you guys have trouble with inquiries ghosting. And then of course, none of us got into this business to be sitting in front of our computer and fighting our marketing, fighting our websites, fighting all of this stuff. We wanna get out there with our clients, taking pictures, changing lives, right? So this workshop is designed specifically to solve these problems, to help you get the more inquiries while also increasing your sales average. And also if, if you want less bookings <laughs> and just really focus on this number, I think that's awesome also. Especially if you are tired of inquiries not seeing your value. This is hard. Um, and then the one that really gets me down is how much energy I used to put into uh, responding to an inquiry and to have them ghost on me. Like I'd put my heart and soul into it and they disappear. It was so... It would just suck all of my excitement and joy out of what I was doing. Like uh, like many of you, uh, doing this job, it takes, when we when I was shooting portraits, I'd have to have that conversation. Like it's taking me away from my family and other things. We've gotta make sure the return is there. So guys, if you don't know me already, I'm Nate. I'll go fast here. Back in 09, I was doing portraits. I knew that I had to get better at word of mouth referrals. We all know that's the foundation of any good marketing, right? I was so afraid to ask for them though. So I went <laughs> the hard way and I figured out a cool strategy, kind of pioneered this idea of making a custom mobile app for each one of my clients. 
I went from just an awkward dude to fully booked because every all of my past customers were sharing it like crazy. Um, and I knew I had something special. I was lucky enough to find a team that could was smarter than me, could take my idea and build out um, and make it real so that thousands of photographers now since 2012 have been using sticky albums as a marketing tool. And we now have a full suite, landing pages, email marketing, all that stuff. But I'll talk more about that later. The elephant in the room is yes, I am running a full-time uh, business now, running a team, managing a software company. But my my new passion, well, yeah, if I'm honest, I do miss this moment, but I want the same way you guys live and die for this, that's the moment of your clients seeing the photos you took and they're gushing over them, right? And they're sharing them instantly to all of their friends and family and posting them all over and tagging you and tagging your business. Yes, that is amazing. But what for what when while I miss that, what I what is filling up that hole in my heart are messages like this. Uh, the opportunity to do trainings like this with those of you all over the world uh, and make a difference in your business so you can get more of that experience yourself. Recently, Meredith messaged me, says, Hey, Nate, I really enjoyed learning from you. You're a great teacher, very thorough, but succinct. This means so much. I toil and toil and toil the way I used to on my own portrait business on these trainings and on systems and the software and the technology that help make your job easier. So over the last nine years, it's been an honor to help you guys build marketing that works where you're not having to fight in front of your computer for too long. She said, you teach in a way that is easily digested in a way that sticks. Uh, stick, <laughs> see what she did there? Fun fact, guys, if you're ever curious why it's called Sticky or Sticky Albums is because of this book. Everything we do in our messaging, in our interactions, in our marketing, it needs to be done in a way that's memorable and sticky. And so that's my mission. That's my why, uh, what I want to help you guys with today. So let me wrap up with the housekeeping. If you're watching this live or on the replay, I go to great energy to make this a high quality production, full HD. So hit the full screen button so you can see all of the, the great visuals and analogies. I've cut out all of the fluff here and only narrowed it down to the best stuff that's working. So ask lots of questions. Let me know what's resonating. Let me know if you're stuck or if you disagree, let's work this stuff out, all right? Okay, so where I'm gonna start today really comes from this aha moment that I have with this view, this unique opportunity to be coaching one-on-one -on -one and group coaching dozens, perhaps hundreds of photographers a year, uh, what's working and what's not. And the good news is some of you are having your best years ever. But it's just by chance, by implementing really good strategies that happen to be working without Facebook ads, without high pressure sales tactics. And I wanna share those things that are working with you guys while also empathizing with many of you are still struggling and that's okay too. Different things are happening in different parts of the world. I get that some of you have traffic but still don't haven't figured out a consistent way to turn the traffic on your site into bookings. And the big one that really stuck out, more and more I talk to people is how overwhelmed they are. Because what clicked is 10 years ago when we first started, there wasn't a whole lot of places to go to, for advice or for support on running a business. That's not the case anymore, right? There are endless resources, videos, trainings. You probably all have invested in training packages before you have hours of video that you have watched and haven't yet watched. And it's hard to know what is going to stick. And so I've been fascinated at helping you guys celebrate that you can't do it all, right? You can only do a few things. You only, you're, you're a solopreneur, many of you. So we've got to find the one thing. This book is so great. The idea you want to start every day with asking yourself, what's one thing I can do today that's going to make my other to-dos easier or unnecessary? We can start to apply this kind of domino strategy to our business. Everything starts to get easier. Greg McEwen, this is one of my favorite new books in the last couple of years. 
about essentialism, we need to focus on the vital few rather than the trivial many. You cannot be on every single social media platform. You cannot be blo an expert blogger and website design. You can't do it all. We got to find the things that you can do that matter, right? And his latest book, Effortless, I'm just getting into, is all about discovering the most important tasks. And instead of thinking that, oh, if it's important, it has to be hard. Well, if it's important, we can also make it easy, especially when we use tech in the right way. So my goal today in this next 60 minutes is to help, number one, to give you clarity on what you should be focusing on, what's the most important thing you should be fixing in your business to get the results we were talking about earlier and the results that Melissa and other photographers are having um, in, in growing their business. I'm going to come back to this slide at the end and ask you if we accomplish this goal, all right? Help hold me accountable to this number one goal. Because I want you to, to know what you should be working on so that, as a result, your clients have clarity also. When they're shopping, when they're interacting with your marketing, when they're talking to you on your console calls, they're going to clearly see the value in what you do and then choose to hire you, right? Okay, so... We have to ask ourselves, what is this, this moment that matters most in the whole client journey? There are hundreds, possibly steps, dozens of steps that your client takes, that you deliver. What, which one of those moments has the single biggest impact on your business? Which one do you think it is? I'm going to, we're going to do a quick pop, pop quiz. All right. Is it A, the console call, B, the session and how good your images are? Or is it C, the sales session? Or is it D, how you reply to inquiries? Let me know in the comments which one of these moments out of the, again, dozens, do you think has the biggest impact on your business? While you're answering, here's some clues. The reason why I believe this is the moment that matters most is because this with little tiny moment has the single biggest impact on whether or not they are going to book with you or ghost and disappear once they see your pricing. They, this same moment is going to determine, it's going to lock them on a different path. The same way, like let's say we all have gone to uh, Outback, we've all been to Ruth Chris. From the moment we walk in the door, we know which one we're spending more money on. We set our potential clients on that same path the second it, it, we respond in this moment, right? So it determines how much they spend. And the really big one I want to talk about as we wrap up is uh, whether or not you'll burn out. I, out of the dozens, sadly, photographers that I know that have given up and thrown in the towel, it typically is not driven first by money. I know a lot of happy, thriving photographers who maybe aren't making a ton of profit, but they're enjoying themselves. They're having a blast. It's when you're getting ghosted, when nothing's working, when, when none of your marketing is working, that is when people burn out. Okay. Many of you got it. Look at all these people. I love it. Um, love those books. Keely, thanks for being here. It's so great. Dennis got it right. James, Susan, uh, Abrunto, Jill, and Patty. Congrats. Yes. See, in that single moment, I'm going to show you guys more how, how you reply more specifically. It's so great when you finally get an inquiry, right? Um, here's what Amber says. Um, how is this pricing? How does it look? We all like think, what's wrong with my pricing, right? I get inquiries. I talk to them. I tell them all I can do and they get excited and we talk pricing and then it's over. Uh, some other emails I've gotten, Nate, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I typically like to get inquiries in for a consult where I build rapport and go over pricing. I've been emailing my pricing, but then I just hear crickets once it goes out. Do you guys struggle with getting ghosted once you send out your pricing? And let me know, are you, how are you delivering the pricing? Is it a PDF? Is it an email? Is it only in person? I wish I could figure out a way to share my pricing that didn't scare people off. Let's solve this problem. Okay, stick around to the very end, guys. I have some awesome new free gifts that are going to help solve some quick problems that a lot of you are facing. Um, next, let's walk through a demo of what this system 
the booking and sales booster system looks like, but we're gonna put ourselves in the shoes of somebody shopping for a photographer. Kind of like a baking show. Look, the pie's coming out of the oven. Let's see what it looks like, the booking and sales booster system when it's done. Let's follow Julie as she shops, right? Where does she go? Google, Facebook, friends, recommendations. She ends up on a couple sites, got a bunch of tabs open, lands on one she loves. She's shopping for high school senior portraits for her, for her child, loves the portfolio, scrolling down the page, and there's a slide out, little pop-up. Hmm, are you the parent of a high school senior? Enter your email below and I'll send you some tips to make your senior portrait session a highlight of their year. I'll also pass along my current senior pricing guide. She says, okay, sure. Enters in, I can enter my email. Notice this is not budget, dates, graduation year, location. It's, we're not asking all the questions yet. We're just getting email on purpose. There's a, there's a very serious reason for that. And then immediately, this is live on JB's site. As soon as they enter, they de she, he's delivering on that first promise. Here's the preview of my pricing. So it's not a PDF, it's a gorgeous, simple, clean, polished online pricing page or a primer that's teasing with, with inspiration gallery of wall art, of the different products that his clients like to, like to order, a little bit on a different package options, but then it focuses on a really good singular call to action. This guide is designed to be a starting point. The best next step is to jump on a quick call so that we can better get to know you and we can answer all your questions. Use the link below to schedule a stress-free 15-minute phone consult. Not let's book now. That's out here, right? It's just, hey, want to jump on a call and I answer your questions? Okay, Julie's only been here for a minute or two. She looks at her calendar. She's distracted. We have to remember that people shop differently, right? We're not, we don't have hours and hours to, to shop online. We want things quick. We're always multitasking. So that is what's great about also having their email address. Don't ever give your pricing. Know that people want to see it, right? But don't give it to them unless they give you an email. That way you can follow up. Not, not pester, not annoy them, but you can keep giving them value showing them that you care and you understand their issues and you can help them accomplish their challenges, right? So these automatic emails keep going out, these nurturing tips that they, you, you promise you'd send out, they go out about uh, 10 emails over a week, two weeks, um, so, so powerful. And as you're building that trust over time, um, you can gradually start to ask for the business, right? Or, hey, as a reminder, I hope these tips have been helpful. Would you like to schedule a free consult? I'd love to get to know you more, right? Okay, now you can see after these little baby steps, after a couple days, a week and a half's gone by, she's been reading some of the tips and going, oh, this person really knows what they're doing. This has been helpful to help me think about what I'm looking for too. I wanna to jump on a quick call. Oh, yep, I have time tomorrow at 10. I'm going to schedule a consult, whether it's face-to-face, -face, Zoom, phone, doesn't matter. You can imagine how much better your booking rate is when you let your inquiries take lots of small and automated baby steps. In a lot of ways, this automated system is kind of like hiring a, an assistant or a studio manager that you don't have to pay. They just, they work 24 hours a day and they educate and inspire your potential clients, get them all qualified and warmed up and excited to talk to you on a console call. JB says, this is amazing. I just keep waking up to new consult meetings on my calendar. So that's what this system looks like. Can you guys imagine this experience for your potential clients? And do you want to deliver a, a an experience this polished and professional? Can you see how it would help you get more bookings and increase your sales when you make that kind of first impression? Let me Give me a yes if you're ready to see how you can build this system yourself. Give me a yes and also tell me what percentage of your consults book. Once you finally get somebody on the phone, in person, whatever, how how well are you turning them into? Is it 100%, 80%, 50%? How many of them are you turning into bookings? And are you avoiding 
getting on the phone, when you finally get a consult. This is something I'm learning about. For me, I was in group A. I would love getting on the phone any chance I got. Um, and anytime I would talk to somebody on the phone, I would book them pretty well. Um, more and more, I'm talking to photographers who really struggle with and avoid getting on the phone, right? So I'm going to give you a, one of the new bonuses at the end of today's workshop. I've put together a call script. It goes through a ritual with steps you can take to hype yourself up so you can show up to each of your consults with confidence, with rehearsed questions to get the focus off of you and on to them. Because too many photographers are still avoiding talking to their potential clients on the phone. When you use these simple steps to show up with calm and confidence, you're gonna turn more consults into book clients that spend more. So I'm just gonna quickly say this. This is a whole nother rant, but the reality is out of the hundreds of photographers I've worked with, yes, some people do okay with like booking people by email or by messenger or whatever. That's great. If you've got a kick-ass system and you can do it, all, more power to you. But when you're first getting started, when your profit isn't where it needs to be, when you don't have enough bookings coming in, the number one way to accelerate your growth is to get on the phone. And I know many of you are going to say, oh, my clients don't want to be on the phone. Millennials don't answer the phone. I get it. I agree. Millennials will, or nobody anymore, will answer a surprise phone call. That's not what I'm saying. But when you make it easy using a tool like Calendly or 17 Hats or Acuity, there's dozens of scheduling tools. It's not a booking calendar to book a session. They're booking a, a phone call, something low risk and easy. All they have to do is put in their email and phone number and they can get access to your calendar, choose a time that works. That is gold. Once they've seen your pricing, once they've gotten your tips, and they start to get the sense that you are worth talking to, I promise you that your target client is eager to ask you questions, to get to know you, to share their vision. They want to get on the phone. And when you can show up with confidence and calm on those calls, it's going to have a drastic impact on your business. Okay, next promise. Yes, I own a software company. Today is less about software and more about the strategy that you can implement using your tools. I'm gonna to give you the list. That's the bonus number two. This whole to-do list of all the little micro to-dos to building this system, that same system I just walked you through with the baked cake, right? I'm gonna give you this checklist so you can build it yourself. Okay, how are we doing guys? <sighs> so George and Karen, um, those of you that said uh, probably 80 and, and Bronto, um, if I were to give you a system that ran on autopilot that filled your calendar with consistent consults, would that be worth building for you? Where you didn't have to worry about your website, your emails, it just, its job was filling your calendar with consistent consults. Would that be worth solving, right? That's what this system is designed to do, okay? So step number one is we need to inspire and teach, okay? The old way is like slimy, delayed trick, like other shoes gonna drop. Nobody wants to do that, right? You've gotta be the guide that's inspiring people. The old way is waiting until the sales session to like this big, okay, high pressure, you're here, have some like, the problem is that doesn't work anymore, right? All it, I don't even think many photographers did the, the huge high pressure stuff, but I think all it, it only took a few to kind of ruin it for everybody. So now a lot of consumers are really weary. It's raised the bar on how, how much harder it is now to, to get a stranger to trust you, like to understand, like, are you sure? How's your process work? I only want to spend this much. You're not going to like surprise me. Like nobody wants to be surprised. Okay, and then the other old way, it, which I would do, is I was afraid to talk about. But I, I would get an inquiry, like, "Hey, what what kind of prints can I get? And do you make albums?" Like, "Oh, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. Let's just talk about the session." I was so excited to shoot that I was afraid to talk. I thought I thought talking about products was going to scare them away, 
It didn't scare them away. It just scared my profits away by not just educating them, right? I thought they knew all the options and we'd decide later, but they didn't know. There's infinite products now to choose from and they're looking to you for guidance, right? So the old sales tricks don't work. Never did really. New way, transparency. We've got to be fully upfront with our process, showing them that it's simple and you're easy to do business with. You, it's This is all about just being a good educator. If, if you don't like the word sales, I... I've earned my master's degree in education. I'm passionate about teaching, and I believe that is the best salesmanship, is just to be to give to your clients your wisdom that they want that's going to help them solve problems in their life. Okay, the other big one here I'm going to dig into is showing what you sell. For those of you that have the Sell More Toolkit now, you understand the importance of showing the products, the print products, that you want to sell, not just in person. Let me know if you guys that sell products, let me know how many of you have samples of the print wall art albums, et cetera, in your studio that you can let your potential or your clients, your booked clients during the sales session, you can let them touch and smell and see the value, right? Really important. If you wanna sell products, you absolutely need to show them in person but the whole phrase, show what you sell, it's bigger than that. You need to show this everywhere. So, because the reality is guys, an eight by 10 is plenty thinks most inquiries, they have no idea that an eight by 10 by itself above their couch would look bad. They just don't, okay? So you need to start planting this inspiration early. So um, Heather says, I do have samples. Yes, Sheila says, yes. Wingfield Photography says, yes, okay. So here's the, the follow-up question. <laughs> Those of you that said yes, do you, so I'm, I'm gonna ask it this way. Would a visitor on your website have any idea that you sell print products or wall art? Would they know? How would they know, right? So just like going into Ikea, we go there for a thing like, oh, we need we need stools for the bar. <gasps> oh my gosh, this this wall light, this light, these plants in these cool mugs and these nice clear bowls and this plant and these chairs and this fridge. Oh my gosh, I want the whole thing. It's gorgeous. That's there. There are like the world standard in inspiring people of what's possible by show. We, they make us walk through this inspiration gallery, right? Can you imagine how much less money we would all spend at Ikea if this was it? If you walked into Ikea and was like, oh, yep, that's the one I'm here for. Give me that box. Done. I'm out. So we need to inspire people on our websites, in our marketing, in our social media. Because when we only show digital images, guess what we attract? Clients who only want digital images, right? Here's an example. Let's just work. This is the common... Jane Doe, like a TK Joy generic, like Acme photographer. This is what I see every day is a nice, pretty gallery of digital images. What if we change one tiny thing? We just put in a couple inspiration mock-ups of the print products they want to sell. Now, all of a sudden you instant in a tiny little subtle change, you become filed away in the client's brain as instead of somebody who just takes pictures, because everybody takes pictures, now you're someone who creates artwork. In this little tiny part of their brain, it's not even conscious yet sometimes, they're scrolling through your gallery and they go, oh, you know, yeah, I did really want a nice like family picture for holiday cards, but it would be nice to have a little collage over the couch or over the fire. Interesting. Okay. So the best example I've ever seen in 10 years of this process is Mirako and Brian Townsend. This video is playing on their website, on their social and everywhere of look at those reactions, that client reaction of somebody going like that's gold. And then he's, this is all shot on an iPhone without even a steady cam. He's just showing him delivering the products showing the client's reactions, showing this product installed. Now I wanna ask you a tougher question. Can you imagine if 
Miraco ever gets emails now where somebody says, oh, I, I only want the digitals, right? No, their slogan is family is a work of art and this is the experience. This is what they are showing. They show what they sell. Um, so, okay. I know making that video would take some time, but what you can get started with today is, with a sell more toolkit or other templates is to get mockups on your website, in your social, everywhere. Start dripping that out. Celebrate the products that you create. Show the experience. Set up a camera and record the reveal. You sell that. So show it, right? People want to work with people who have fun and it looks cool. You want to take video of clients' reactions and the whole journey, okay? Show what you sell, not just the digitals, but all of the products, all of the experience. That's step number one. When we get better at inspiring, you're going to turn, you're going to start automatically filtering for customers who want products. Okay. And you're going to do a better job of, of converting people who showed up just looking for one thing. They just want the digitals. But when they realize that this is what you do, they go, huh, I do really like this work. Oh, they do this too. And you're going to, without any manipulation, right? It's just all genuine education. Step number two, we got to play it cool, okay? I don't know about you guys, but when I first um, got an inquiry, uh, I was pretty excited. Anytime I would get any kind of phone call or contact form, this is me finally getting an inquiry. I would like jump up and down and run around and say, oh my gosh, somebody actually likes my work. <laughs> um, let me know how do you react? How do you respond? Do you sit down and send a PDF? Do you dump your entire soul? Or B, do you freeze up and like wait for perfection and inspiration to hit? Um, let me know how you react when you finally get that inquiry. For me, I would I was A. I was number A. I would sit down and write a personal message, just page long, lots of paragraphs, lots of details. And here's the different options. Here's the different locations. Here's the different, oh my gosh. Then... I was just devastated when they ghosted, right? I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs because I scared them away. Heather, I get it. Um, it's hard sometimes. Um, and then you put however you finally respond back. And then this, <laughs> this was me when they say, thanks, but we just want the digitals, right? And we're stuck in this glass cage of emotion. Okay, so let's fix those two problems. The old way of responding to inquiries, it falls into two big mistakes. We are either giving too much information too fast or we're waiting too long to get back to them, right? If you don't have any pricing and they don't get anything until you get on the phone with them, that's too long, right? They're probably already calling other people. Uh, and then you're still on the phone call when they haven't been primed and educated that you can only cover so much in a phone call anyway. Uh, okay, so the biggest one that has to go, please stop emailing your PDF, okay? It's not your fault. A lot of educators have been teaching this for a long, long time. There's some gorgeous templates out there that make it look great, but I promise you it's too much, okay? Save it. When, you're, you're, when somebody is looking at 8 by 10 and all your details and materials and sizes, they're not going to be like, what the heck? Why, is, why would an 8 by 10 cost that much? They're not going to get it unless you are there, right there with them to talk it through. Stop emailing it. You can print it and you can show it to them in person when you are there. Nobody should ever see your complete pricing unless you are there with them to help them understand it and to talk about it. Otherwise, they are never going to see the value in all of the things. So absolutely. Print it into a nice magazine or a booklet or a flyer or something you can give them once you're in person or at least if you're live with them on the phone. But until then, when you email PDF, it's too much data too soon. You feel complicated. Uh, it loads too slow. It looks bad on mobile. It's outdated. People will dig up year old PDFs and want your old prices. And there's just no way for it to communicate the value of what you do, right? The new way is the online pricing primer. We need it to be instant, simple, and polished. That's our mantra. So 
let me show you what I mean and why this is so important. All of the work we do here to get just to get people to land on our website, whether it's sticky albums, marketing, Facebook, blogging, SEO, partnerships, giveaways, all of this work, we finally get a visitor, right? But then they ghost. Just because you have somebody on your website does not mean they book. Uh, Donald Miller really helped inspire and crystallize this idea for me. So it's really good marketing. Our job as marketers is to convince people to, to come across a river of uncertainty. They're terrified, right? So a bad marketer says, hey, I'm a photographer. Come on over. I know that looks scary. The river is raging. But trust me, there's little stepping stones right under the surface. You just can't see them yet. Nobody's coming. Our job is to reveal each tiny little step and make each step really simple. Anytime this whole marketing process breaks down, when somebody's ghosting on you, it's always because you've asked them to take a step that is bigger than what you've earned trust to ask for, right? It's just like any relationship. If you ask, we've all heard the analogy, when you ask for, for the proposal or for a wedding on the first date, they're gonna ghost on you, right? And specifically, we're gonna talk about this first step, taking a visitor to engage in any way with you, whether it's email, phone call, form, anything. That's the hardest step. So we wanna make that really, really important. When you finally get them to ask for your pricing and to reach out to you, you've gotta respond in a way that is instant, simple, and polished. And when you do, that drastically impacts how your chances of turning that inquiry into a booking, just in that one moment, okay? Instead of making them sit around and wait. And it also, like we talked about earlier, locks them onto a path of either profit or break even. Just how you, you set that expectation immediately, you can't recover from it. You say, yep, these are our prices, here's where we start at, let's talk, here's our process. Okay, now let's play it back the other way. If our response to this question is slow, complicated or sloppy in any way, any one of these, that is when they ghost. So having somebody ghost on you, I know it's hard, guys. I know it's painful. And the hardest part with online marketing is that you don't know why. You don't know why they ghosted, right? And so we're left to our own devices making up reasons. And when we make up these reasons, we're not kind to ourselves. Like, they hated us. They hated our work. We're not that good. Our prices are too high. This is never going to work. When it has none of none of those other reasons why people ghost on you, they wouldn't have inquired if they didn't already love your work. I promise you. The reason they're ghosting is because they're confused or, or they just had it to wait too long. Rarely are they going to a competitor. They're just deciding, oh, never mind. This is confusing. I don't have time for this. That is usually why somebody's ghosting. So we want the, our pricing primer to be instant, simple, and, and polished. Here's a look back on what this looks like when it's built. As soon as they give you their email address, you send them a quick inspiration gallery, empathizing with the process, celebrating them. This gallery shows a little bit of your work, a little bit of mock-ups, inspiring what's possible. You're just saying prices start at, right? Talking about the quality of, of your products and how they're different from what they could get other places. That's it. Not a list of sizes that they don't understand, right? Okay. And then it ends. You can show your packages. Really, the packages are just to show them that you can that it's easy, that you're going to help them make a decision and it's easy. The part that's most important, this is not asking them to book. Okay, that is too far of a leap than you've earned trust to ask. But if you are just asking at this stage to schedule a call and you're making it easy and simple, hey, let's jump on a call and chat. I want to learn more about you. That is really powerful. Okay, focus on getting just the consult, baby step it. When you work this system, what's so fun is a lot of times you don't even have to like ask for the business. There's like, oh, yeah. Let's, uh, they, they, they come to a phone console, they're like, okay, what do I do next? How do I give you money? Do you take deposits? How do I lock in my date? Like, it's just natural because they've been primed, educated, taught, and they're ready to go. They see the value in what it is you do. 
Don't show size specific prices, any of that stuff until you're in person or face to face with them or whatever. Here's another story from Melissa. So they're already primed. So when they do come in for the uh, in-person sale, they already know what I have to offer. They're very comfortable with it. They know it's what they want to get because they've already seen it. So, you know, in-person sales is, is actually very simple, very simple. I love it. Um, okay. Let me know if this is resonating, guys. Give me a yes that you're ready to deliver your pricing information. Let go of the PDF, save it, print it. Please print it. You can use it. Don't throw it away, but just stop emailing it. Give me a yes in the comments if this is still resonating. Stuart says, first, I spent ages not having a list. I would just put prices in email. Then I tried to design it in Excel, which was awful. Now, my pricing response looks professional with samples of products I offer. As a result, I've been selling more at the sales session. See, there's no magic here, guys. It's just, it's obvious in hindsight when we just do a better job of educating and inspiring, these are the results you get. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks, Annie and Susan and Joey and James. And you guys are so great. I love, I love Beyonce. Sorry, I've seen her twice in concert. She's just amazing. She's like the epitome of confidence. <laughs> we all need to channel our inner Beyonce when we talk about our pricing. And that's what I mean by playing it cool. When you deliver your pricing information, Autumn, instantly, automatically, while you're sleeping, people can get access, not to all of it, but just to a teaser. What's so powerful is it's kind of like going to Starbucks. Even though coffee keeps going up and up and up, nobody's fighting with the barista of like, why your price is so high. They get it, like, these are the prices. And a lot of the photographers I've been coaching, by, by putting it out there this way, they're not getting beat up and they're not having to defend their prices because it's just there. This is, this is, this is what it is, right? Um, it really gives you momentum. I recommend building the system first and then it gives you the confidence and the structure to raise your prices. It makes it easier to raise them when you've, when you've created like a healthy boundary. There's always going to be tire kickers. There are always going to be people that whine and are looking for a deal. What's great about an automated system is it insulates your finite emotional energy from having to defend your prices to people who will never be your customer. Like you need to just avoid them at all costs. That's toxic to your mental health, to everything. You gotta keep a boundary between people that'll never be your client. Okay, here we go. Number three, last and final step, be generous. Oh, such a good mantra just to be, just always think, thinking in your marketing, how can I make my online marketing more like me in person? Being generous and just helping. This, this moment when somebody is on your website, this is the part where we bring in the automation guys uh, with, with email, drip, with value, with all of these auto replies. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is how do you get somebody on your website to give you their email address, right? Just look at these cheesy stock photos, what this looks like. like what's the, the, notice the difference in how you feel about these two images. One's like, just give me, your information, then the one's like, here, have a gift. So the old way is the contact form, especially the contact form that asks for everything, all your date, your location, email, phone number, um, budget, location, all of this, tell us more. Guys, these are all questions that are fun to know, and I'm glad you have a studio management tool or a form tool that lets you ask them, these are the second, third, fourth date questions. You need to build trust before somebody's gonna fill this out, okay? There's a reason why less than 1% of the traffic on your site will fill out your contact form. The only people that fill out a contact form are usually people that have already on some level decided they're gonna hire you. They just wanna hire it out. They, they've somehow already built up enough trust by looking at your work, maybe a referral or whatever it is, they're like, yep, I trust this enough, I'm gonna, let's just do it. What about the other 99% of the traffic on your site? What can we do for them? So, so let's, let's go to in person, what you naturally do in person, we have to let that be the guide for what you build online. So let's say you met a stranger for coffee or you met somebody at 
a networking event and they ask you what you did and you had a two, three minute conversation, would you be like, oh, hey, before you go, you want to give me your credit card and down payment, lock in your date. I got an opening tomorrow. No, you never do that. So don't do that online. But some of you might be talking to them because you're so passionate and you just naturally care so much about whatever is whatever niche you do. Let's say it's weddings. You're like, oh, you're, you're getting married. You're engaged. Oh my gosh, how awesome. I've been a wedding photographer for 30 years. I know all of the best vendors in our city. Let me know. I actually put together a guide, an email sequence I can send you with tips on how to choose and shop for the best vendors in your in our city. Sound cool? Like that's human being generous. People love that. They will love you and the wisdom that you have. I could give an, an example for every single niche. You guys know your niche better than your clients. They care about your wisdom and your expertise. So here is a tactic. There, in 10 years of helping photographers with their marketing, there is nothing better at turning traffic on your website into a lead than an exit intent form like this. With a nice, cool image, grabs their attention. Before you go, would you like my free tips? My free email cash course, seven tips for taking better pictures of your dog, along with my latest pricing. These two things, pricing information, free tips. When you put them together, it's greater than the sum of the two parts. And it is a, it's magical about the way it converts traffic into leads. We have to embrace the fact that whenever anybody is shopping for something, they don't, they're not an expert in. If you're shopping for a refrigerator, like what do we do? We just base it on price. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert in this thing. I just look at price. So Consumers are going to do the same thing to you and we need to stop resisting and getting so bummed when people just want to see pricing. It's not that that's all they want is they just don't know what else to ask you and they don't know how to compare you or to, they just don't, don't know. So we can embrace that. The, the photographers out there who are being the best guides in helping show them the way through this confusing process those are the photographers that are winning, okay? So embrace that they wanna see your pricing and make the only way, this is an important detail, the only way they can get even a teaser of your pricing is to give you their email address so that you can continue not to pester them, but to give to them, to be generous. Please tell me this is clicking, this is resonating. Say, yes, I get it, I need to be generous. Let me know if this is working for you guys. So the old way, contact forms, less than 1% of your traffic is going to fill that out. Newsletters, Donald Miller says, nobody wants your newsletter anymore. It's too vague. That worked a couple years ago. Nobody wakes up in the morning, oh, I'm gonna go sign up for some newsletters. Sign up to get new, no, nobody cares. But a specific value, like, hey, do you want 10 emails that's gonna show you how to have a stress-free wedding? You want 10 emails of my best baby products that help soothe your newborn baby. The list goes on and on. People want, that if they are your target client, they are going to give you their email address for that, okay? And then frankly, waiting is the old way, just building a site and hoping that Google finds you and that just doesn't work anymore. Whew, I get excited, okay. New way is offering your wisdom, accepting that what your experience is valuable and people wanna hear from you, okay? That's how you can be the guide, you can you can uh, be the expert and share your wisdom. Your target client wants to see it. Tips plus pricing is this awesome synergy. Um, I had to make that <laughs> synergy word, sorry. Uh, and then drip it out automatically, okay? All of this stuff would be really hard to do if you're doing it all manually. A lot of that stuff I was doing running my business and it's mind numbing, it's just, it's exhausting, right? This is what computers do best, is automate all of the steps we've just talked about. Um, Wingfield, it's called, the templates, it's called the Sell More Toolkit. I can show you a link on how to get that if you don't have that piece of the puzzle when we wrap up too. Okay, so being generous, um, Sticky Email actually has uh, dozens of pre-written email nurturing sequences that help you build that trust, that help. It's the time, guys, the time in between each email. 
Think about the people you trust the most in your life. It's most likely the people you've known the longest. Okay. We can't shortcut time. So it's, it's scheduling out automated nurturing tips that does really, it's that the time in between is just as important as the content in your email. Okay. Just showing up, doing what you say you're going to do, delivering value, giving them a tip that, they, that helps them conquer their day. JB speaks on this. He says the studios that do well, get leads from their website. He said, I wasn't in our conversation. He's like, dude, I, he was huge on Instagram. He had all kinds of followers, all kinds of engagement, but no leads. Nobody's coming in. That's it. But now we finally built this system for him and he is getting leads and consults on his calendar. Melissa, since the day we made this system live for her, I am now averaging one new inquiry per day consistently. It's definitely been a huge success. Okay. Let's see, uh, she has this to add also from Melissa Keith. So the genius of the Built For You program is through the sticky sequence. This is a great way to not just send out pricing and have people ignore it if they're put off by your pricing. It gives you the opportunity to engage with them and get to know them throughout that process of sending out the pricing information. And I'm having people consistently message and say, yeah, I got it. It gives me the opportunity to start that process and engage with them, which is great. So what I want you guys to take away from this is technology isn't a replacement for just being a generous human. Okay. It's, it's like a, it's like having an assistant that's a lot cheaper than having an assistant. And when you combine the two, when you get people to manually reply back to your automated emails, that's a huge win. Okay. And, and when you there, when you combine your own hustle, your own human giving nature with automation like this, that's where it really starts to pay off. So here we go. Let me know how I did. Give me a yes. I get it. I understand that you have more clarity today on that you have to prioritize this moment. You need to do a better job of inspiring, of being generous and of being cool and showing them a teaser of your pricing, right? And automating the whole process. Um, thank you guys so much, Ani and Susan. I love it. So this one thing, when you fix this process, it has the biggest impact on your business, okay? So my other promise is that you can build out this strategy with a lot of different software tools. You can build it yourself um, or I'm going to give you I'm going to show, give you a link here in a minute where you can get the freebies. The, the second one here is the checklist, right? You could give this checklist to a marketing agency, to a web designer, to a copywriter, and hire them to build this whole system for you. Or many, many people still don't know this. For, for 10 years now, Sticky's mostly been a software company. But my team has gotten so good at building these funnels and helping people with their own funnels that we are now offering a limited service to build this system for you. It's my favorite, favorite TikTok. Such a nerd. Yes, I'm serious. We will build all of this for you. So I'm going to do another video that goes into more details and you, the sales page, uh, the registration page, I'll show you in a minute. We'll go into greater detail every step, but I'm going to go real fast here. There's a lot uh, that we build for you to get all of this working. Number one, you give us your 20 of your portfolio images, your headshot, your contact information, a lot of the stuff we can get from your website. You, how do you currently reply to pricing? Just give us that and my team builds the rest, okay? We create, number one, 20 product demo images. We drop your images into our gorgeous, by niche curated group of, of images. We design and build these for you. Uh, we have all kinds of cool ones that we can use for uh, all kinds of different niches. Then we take those same images and put them into your online pricing guide. So there's a kind of 
a combination of your portfolio mixed in with the products that you want to sell, inspiring people on what's possible. We pull out the, the products that you want to sell and we help draft all of this. We put the starting at prices and we put these images into your builder for you. We help you create your scheduling link. We get it all planned out, all done for you. Then what's really fun is we've gotten so much better at this that we get all that stuff done before your kickoff call, your live coaching call with a marketing expert on my team. All of my team uh, has Lauren, both Lauren and Shannon have run their own successful studios. They understand they built over 200 funnels now, right? They're just amazing. So you jump on a call and you see what we've built for you. You get to give us feedback. How's this work? How's this wording look? You want to tweak this, tweak that, move this image. Awesome. Then on the call, you choose what e what niche and what nurturing sequence, what tip sequence we have pre-written is going to be most in your voice, right? You choose it together. We create your signature. And then my team builds out the really good strategic calls to action, like when to ask for what. Um, I love it. Yes, I need to automate it still. So great. Um, so we then we publish all of your emails and we schedule everything. So here's an example. This is just in high school senior niche. There's all of, we'll go through this with you on your call to help you choose which tip sequence fits your business and your target client best, okay? Some other quick FAQs. Um, we're delivering those automated emails come from Sticky Email technically, but it looks and feels like it's all coming from your email address. They're all designed to have them take an action, to engage with you. And so if they hit reply to the email, um, it's gonna come straight to your inbox and you take over that, that process, right? Um, Michelle, we can do multiple genres. I've got a good answer for that. I'll wrap up at the end. The short answer is we recommend you start with one. Let us prove that you get one working and then we give a huge discount on, on additional. I'm gonna give you the whole answer now, <laughs> sorry. Um, we've had out of over 200 funnels, we have probably over a dozen of them order additional funnels after the fact, right? Don't boil the ocean, get success with this one funnel, okay? Then we create your exit intent form. We help choose the right image. We draft all this copy, configure it all. Then you also get the slide out form here. Again, another cool image and all the copy. Just the slide out form alone, guys, could easily cost you hundreds of dollars a year. That's just for a form tech. It's not the copy, that's not the images, that's not the setup. My team is building all of this out for you. And here's the real magic. You could give this checklist. You guys could do all of this. You could hire somebody else to do it, but it costs thousands because we're really, we're just so good at doing this exact funnel. So making sure that as soon as somebody submits their email address, that you're enrolling them in the tips, that you're then also sending them immediately to the pricing guide and the pricing guide is pointing to the consult link and this is pointing to the consult link and the emails are, it gets confusing unless you're really, really good at it. All of that is handled for you. And then my favorite, the launch call. And my team will ask you, what else have you been doing? Having delegated this and gotten this off your plate, what else have you been spending time with your family? What other project did you take on for your business? And we, you share your screen and we give you the, the code and we help you install the form live on your site. And we give a good virtual high five. Okay, what about the software? Um, you get a free 12 months of sticky marketing tools included. I want you to see this system working for you before you have to invest in the software, right? This is all going to work. Um, it's normally $349 for both parts of the tools that you need. Um, separately is $249 or $199 for the different pieces of this puzzle. But after your free year of sticky marketing tools, um, it's only going to be $25 a month or even less at $249 a year. But again, you don't have to spend that until after we've proven to you that this works. All right. Oh, you already have Sticky. Um, you guys rock. We love you. We're going to add that 12. You also get the one year. So even if you're due for a renewal soon, invest now and we're just going to add 12 months to your existing and just delay your renewals. Okay. 
So as you can imagine, guys, hiring somebody else to do this would easily cost you. <laughs> Patty, I love you just made my night. I... <laughs> Here's here it comes. So you, we know that this would normally be over two thousand dollars to hire somebody to do it, right? But before I show you how much we're charging, I want you to be honest with you, with me, and with yourself. Wouldn't it still be worth two grand if I tripled? your average sale. If I filled your calendar with consistent, warmed up, qualified leads who are excited to book and invest with you, or if you were getting one new inquiry per day from the traffic that you already have today, wouldn't that be worth two grand? Well, we normally retail it at 999, but because we like rewarding people on workshops live like this, I'm gonna give you a $300 discount when you sign up before the deadline, $699. All of this, go to stickybfy.com slash go. Uh, Shannon, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna paste the link. Guys, if you are on mobile, um, the, every time we do this, people are like, where's the link, where's the link? That's why we created this short URL, so I'm gonna keep it here for a second. Go to your phone, go to another device, Go to stickybfy.com slash go. This is where all of your freebies are. This is where you go to learn more about the program and lock in this, this discounted price. Um, here's where I'm gonna get a little punchy because it's late. <laughs> For the, the next five of you who sign up, next five, I'm just gonna write this manually. Who, who, who sign up at 699 are going to get a bonus coaching call one-on-one -on -one with me. So after your system is live, I will jump on a call with you, we'll review your website, we'll review your overall marketing strategy, your pricing, if you're thinking about raising them. I will walk you through whatever you wanna work on once this is all live. The icing on the cake is you get a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me, all right? Take advantage. Jump on board, be the one, the first next five to grab this offer. I cannot wait to work with you guys. So here's your, here's your choice. So you click through to the checkout page and you save money. It's only $6.99 if you buy in full, or you can um, spread it out over three um, two-week payments for $247. But you can get started instantly if you sign up today for as little as $247. Keep these questions coming. I will stick around with you guys until we've answered all of them. Let me run through some basics. So um, Melissa also had this to say. She said, look, I've tried Facebook ads with very little success. The algorithm is constantly changing and getting an image approved. It makes Facebook ads are hard. Guys, you have enough traffic, okay? I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. She said, I tried doing landing pages and building my own sequences through a different email platform and it was so difficult to navigate and very time consuming to set up. I get it. Um, does this work in my niche? Yes, we went through, we've got weddings, families, newborns, boudoir, engagements, seniors, headshots, pets, personal branding, yes, on, and more, all right? Go to stickybfy.com, the first, next five, lock this in. Um, menu system or portrait campaigns like 40 and over. Um, not specifically, uh, Michelle, but I think this would really work. We have some really good niches or, or sequences for whether it's personal branding or glamour or boudoir, whatever fits, we can find a sequence and then help you tweak it to, to focus on that. Um, huge kudos to specializing. The more specialized you are like that, it makes your marketing job so much easier promise you keep going i know it's scary at times you're like oh does anybody care Are there any people out there i promise you the more niched you are the more success you'll have next question i'm really busy right now how much work do i have to do melissa goes on it was really really nice to have the sticky team build this completely it felt like it was in my voice and i was very easily able to tweak the things that i wanted to tweak right i hesitate oh, anyways so time let me answer my question i would budget maybe an hour to gather your stuff and send it over okay i give you some automated emails that we, i'll just keep pestering you until you get us your assets so that my team can get to work 
as soon as you get us your stuff, my team starts building and you can go back to every whatever else you want to work on, right? Um, one of the things I tell people, you've got to be careful as a creative. We are so distracted by starting new things, by buying new training programs, by buying this, co whatever it is we're trying at, whatever, there's so many things. We have to remember whenever we launch something and start from scratch, a, a, a space shuttle burns 80% of its fuel just at launch, right? Before it's even made it to space. How many of you have so many started projects, programs you've got half watched or maybe even watched but not implemented yet? We need to focus our finite emotional energy and time on getting projects we do choose to work on launched live and running on your website. So the beauty is you get this form, this online pricing guide and these email tips and everything working in harmony. It works literally while you sleep. It's this new baseline. You can rest easy knowing that if you're on vacation for a week, that any new inquiry is going to have an awesome, polished, professional first impression. They're immediately going to be able to get access to your pricing preview. They're gonna keep getting nurtured with awesome value, and they're gonna be given a link to the next open spot on your calendar to find time to chat with you, with you having to do nothing. That is a satellite. It's just running in orbit. Okay. Once it's live, once any good marketing project automation like this is live, you can come in and add more of your own tips. You can come in and add more of your own images. You can tweak the copy. You can do all this stuff. And it just keeps getting better and better and better over time. I didn't know this, but the Hubble telescope has, like its lens has been replaced like 30 times, like many times. It's like this amazing satellite because they keep making it better. But the whole time it's been there, it's been working for us. Anyways, I'm a big nerd. You know that. Your choice is build it yourself, get the tools you have, or get this done, um, get this live. Have my team. The only way we can do this at this price is because my team is so awesome at building them um, after this many this much time. Um, it's, let's see, in my existing account. So... Um, Let's see, George, yes. If you have a current membership, we will add a year to what you already have. Yep, so you're at the $6.99 today, you're paying for my team's time. You're paying for our expertise, for our strategy, for you're getting live coaching calls, that long list. So click over to the, the registration page and you'll see everything we are giving you. Um, let me quick talk to, let me share with what Jessica has to say. And I remember talking to my friend and saying, well, why would I pay for that when I could just do it on my own? Well, here we are three years later and I obviously didn't do it on my own. As a recovering perfectionist, I kept waiting till I had like a whole week free so I could just really sit down and hammer it out. And obviously I never had an entire week to just sit down and do that. So um, being able to pay somebody else to do that was amazing. And um, it was also amazing to work with Shannon. She was fantastic. So great to have somebody to check in with and bounce ideas off of. And um, she even helped me. I had sent her something and she was like, you know, I don't think that's going to transfer well with people. Why don't you try it doing it this way? And um, to be honest, I did not have the skill to set up all this stuff on my own. So having someone else that knew what they were doing and able to walk me through it was fantastic. And it's done. It's so much easier to tweak something that's done than it is to try to do it all on your own. Um, so I am so glad that I did this. It was so worth the money. Um, got something done that has literally been on my to-do list for over three years. So thank you so much, Sticky. Hmm. I love it. Yes, George, that's awesome. That'll help you get your existing account has more functionality than the base. Like if you only, the people who don't have sticky, we just give them the core tiny pieces that, that included, that are needed to run this system. But for you, you get even more value because we're re renewing your full access account. Okay. We're giving you extra time. Okay. Some other people are often saying here, uh, I don't have enough traffic yet. Should I wait until I have more traffic? So here's the tough love. Whether you have five visitors or 500 visitors a week, 
you have enough traffic. Here's what I mean. Whether all of the work we do, getting traffic to your site and to your business and awareness, that's a forever job, right? Partnerships, referrals, fundraisers, print, SEO, blogging, social, Facebook, the list goes on and on and on. We cannot afford to fumble the ball on the one yard line. When you are putting, this doesn't go away. Whether you like Facebook ads alone give you a number on how valuable one visitor is. Go to go try to buy visitors from Facebook. It's going to cost you anywhere from two to three to five dollars a visitor. You can't afford that unless you know that you are turning that traffic into profit. So that's why we need to solve for this first. Okay, we need to fix this pro process so that you can know confidently. When, whether you have five visitors or 500, that you're turning that traffic, a better percentage of that traffic, into leads, inquiries, consults, bookings, profit. Just like this, right? This matters. How well are you turning the visitor into a booking and then into profit? Once you know that that's working, then you might be able, when you've got that math working, then you can go to an SEO expert. You can go hire a Facebook ads manager because you know that when you get 100 visitors to your website, you're gonna make some money, okay? So prioritize getting this system built now. Um, yes, Karen, I will, coming right up. So some boost, some traffic bonuses. So I know a lot of you guys get stressed about traffic to help you with your traffic after this is done, my team will also build 20 sticky albums for you to give to past clients. This is the most proven way to get quick word of mouth referrals, quick valuable traffic to your website. We're gonna do an Instagram link page and the new one is a social media script and template. I'll show you what that means in a second. Sticky album. You put your client on your client's face on their own app. We'll build it for you and you share it. They share it to all their friends. It is the most proven way to get meaningful traffic to your site. Instagram link page. You know how you can only have one link in your bio at a time and it's annoying to like go change it all the time. So there's companies like Linktree that charge you for services to have one little simple page with buttons and links on it. But what this lets you do is once you launch this system, once a month you can say, you pick one tip. Let's say you, you, your tip sequence has like 10 emails in it or 10 tips about how to pose for pictures, or how to take better pictures of your dog, whatever it is. You pick one, you say, hey, just launched a new sequence, a new tips course about how to blink. You put that tip in the, the, the Instagram post, want the rest of my tips? click the link in the bio. It links back to this page. They click this button, they opt in to your email address. You're turning your social media audience that you don't own or control and turning it into emails that you do own and you do control. Then you've got your investment guide linked here. So you can take a picture of your awesome album. Next time you get a gorgeous album, take an awesome picture on your phone, post it to your feed, say, hey guy, we're so excited about our new leather bound albums, you wanna learn more about our latest products and inspiration guide, click the link in my bio to learn more. And you don't have to change it, it's all right here. Um, if you want more ideas, like what I just did off the top of my head, we've gathered all of those into a document of inspiration that you'll also get when you sign up with this package. So you can consistently turn the, the Instagram, the Facebook, the social, all of this stuff, you can turn that into real traffic. Okay, um, another reminder, I like to kind of expectation set, guys. <sighs> Running a photography business, you, you're not Amazon, you're not Walmart, right? You don't need thousands of visitors a month to have an incredibly sustainable, profitable business. When you get really good at engaging and inviting the, the visitors you do have into a conversation with you. Okay, so building this all out, you don't need huge traffic numbers when you do a better job of turning the traffic you have into it. All right, so here we go. 
Um, Wingfield, welcome aboard. It's so great to have you here. I love it. Um, Karen, here's your rundown again. So we do your demo images, your mock-ups. Do your, we build your pricing page for you with your logo, your bio, everything. It's all done. Um, we do a one-on-one -on -one coaching strategy kickoff call where we finalize everything. You get the included pre-written email sequence that you get to help choose. We customize it with your, um, your signature, your personality. We build the email capture form. We build the slide out form. We connect all of the links and you show up to a, a launch call and we make it live. Um, oh, all of this, we, I forget what we used to promise, Shannon, is it 30 days? Um, this is all be done, but from, I think we've never, it's never taken us more than two weeks from when you get us your images to when you're live. If you are fast, my team is even faster. That's why we're rewarding you guys with a $6.99 discount. For those of you watching, we want to reward action takers because my team is even faster and it's easier for us to to budget yes so it's never even taken us 30 days when when somebody's got, got in us their stuff okay um no um george you will not have two bills albums and folios are all the same thing now so you'll get one bill for that that's all included um and if you for this program it'll all be bundled into a $25 a month or $249 a year. If, if you want this system and the access to the things you have, you're good to go. And George, if you have any questions, this is why we've made this a personal offering, right? You're, you can, Shannon or Lauren will re review your account level and make sure that you're getting the best price with the loyalty discounts and all of those things. You know that will help you out. You got it. I'm here for you. Okay. Um, are the sticky marketing tools, the folio, and yes, everything's included. Email, folios, albums, all of it, right? I love it. Okay, stickybfy.com slash go. Let me show you what that page looks like. So click over here, guys. This is going to go into detail, all of the things that are included. If you really like to read the fine print, it's going to show you the bonuses, um, more testimonials, and then um, this is where you get your freebies for attending the workshop. Um, then you click over, click sign up now, and it's going to bring you to the checkout page where you can choose do you do it all up front and save some money or the payment option. Every, I outline the bullet points again. Oh, so great. So excited to see you guys jumping on board already. I cannot wait to see this live in your business. One other bonus I just forgot about. Um, here's another example of a page we built. It's just gorgeous. Um, so here's the section we help write for you guys. It's really important to like em to empathize. Like it shouldn't be so hard to choose a photographer. We want to help. That's why we made this guide to make it easy for you to choose, right? And then there's this inspiration gallery. Look at how gorgeous these mock-ups are, right? So so cool. People are who are there just to get digitals are going to go. Oh, you know what, it would be great to have a family picture or a collage of family pictures in our kitchen. How great would that be? But you're not manipulating anybody, you're just inspiring, right? Then you go through here, we, we pick out up to six products that you wanna feature, we write all of that. And then this is a cool feature in the pricing guide is there's this, we call it the floating welcome video. This is me talking in here in the, in the demo. But you can make a video saying hi as if you're looking over your potential client's shoulder saying hey thanks for checking us out i built you this quick guide to make this process easy use the button at the bottom to learn more about um my work oh to learn to lose the button at the bottom to schedule a call i can't wait to chat right so i have a whole script a template again to help you make that video when this is all done too all of that is included and more okay I'm starting to lose my voice. Two of these in one day is a lot. Let me know what other questions you guys have. Um, Michelle, are you good to go? Yes, all the sticky marketing tools and folio, everything's included that you need. Let me go back to my slides. Where'd they go? There we go. <clears throat> uh, of course, there's a no risk guarantee. 
When you show up to your first call, see what we've built for you. If for some reason you don't like it, we'll do what we can to make it right, or we will give you your money back, okay? If we're so far off base, that's never happened. Um, that's why we can give that guarantee. Okay, um, does it matter who you have your website with? Yes, so as long, we're, the short answer, Michelle, give us, let me know which, which site you use. Zenfolio or SmugMug are usually the ones that we watch out for. Those are trickier and harder to work with. There's some workarounds that don't perform quite as well. Um, we also have a new story brand website template that's kind of top secret. There's a little way we can help you there. Um, so if any of you guys knew, know are waiting on and deciding, should I do the story brand website first or should I do the... Um, this system first, I recommend this system first, okay? Because you can get, let my team get to work on this and building your story brand site is gonna take a little bit more work. So redoing your website in another place, this is a great time to get hold yourself accountable. Say, okay, yep, I'm gonna finally get off my old outdated, non-mobile friendly, non-marketing friendly website platform. I'm gonna build it in something simple while Sticky builds this funnel, and then you'll have it ready just like that, okay? Photobiz, GoDaddy, Word, yep, Squarespace, WordPress, all of that works, you got it. Um, okay, so good. So keep those questions coming. Um, George, I think you, if you, there's some specifics in the pricing we might wanna handle um, directly via an email. You can send Shannon an email at Shannon at stickyelms.com. She can help you or any other questions at support at stickyelms.com. Okie dokie. I wanna share one more quick book that I love. It's been pretty game changing for me. While you guys are answering, or start asking your last questions before you wrap up for the night, okay? So think about anything, if you're on the fence, if you're like, you know what, maybe this isn't right, maybe this isn't gonna work for me, like, let me know what, what's in your way from jumping in right now. Uh, I want you to be one of the five that gets the one-on-one -on -one call with me as a bonus. So this book, Dan Sullivan, um, the book's actually not that good, but he did some videos talking about this book that blew my mind. So I'm going to, in the next three minutes, give you this awesome lesson so you don't even have to read the book. So the first thing he says is the biggest risk to entrepreneurs is believing that you can or should do everything yourself. How many of you feel like you've got to get it all done yourself? And if you're hiring people, you're wasting money or something. Like Lone Myth is a genius. Oh my gosh. The Lone Genius is a myth. Whew, it's late. The most successful entrepreneurs don't do it alone, okay? I promise you, all of the superstar, all of the successful photographers out there, they have a team. And a team can look a lot of different ways. You can hire contractors and agencies and firms and contract. It's really, they can look a lot of different ways now. But the next thing is they ask, instead of asking how questions, how can I do this? They ask who can do this for me, okay? Because getting from where you are now requires uh, you to be, um, where you want to be, requires capabilities you don't have yet just like Jennifer said, okay? Collaborate and grow a team, whatever it looks like, so that you can focus exclusively on your greatest passion and impact. Isn't that a business that you want? Is to So that you can focus on just the tasks and responsibilities that fill you up, so at the end of the day you feel rejuvenated instead of drained? Those of that ask who questions instead of how, they accomplish bigger things faster because when we stick with how, and how am I gonna figure this out? How am I gonna build this page? How am I gonna write these emails? How am I gonna do this? How, how, how? It's just creating problems and loneliness. It's lonely working in front of your computer by yourself and you, we feel overwhelmed and we get stuck and we get frustrated and we procrastinate. Where when we ask a who question, it creates answers and results faster. It gives us better perspective. It reveals connections and resources of people we we didn't know could help us. Freedom and connection, bigger goals, faster. All right? Did I mention procrastinate? Guys, this is the big mind blower here. My name is in the word. So when Dan Sullivan said, 
procrastination is actually wisdom. I was like, oh, you had me at hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, I procrastinate all the time. He said, the reason why we procrastinate is because deep down, intuitively, you know that you are not the person who should actually be doing a lot of the activities and tasks required to achieve your goals. Other people are. How freeing is that idea, guys? It's blowing my mind, right? Finding other people who live for this stuff. My team is so good at this stuff. It fills them up. Find people that can join your team to do the things that you don't like doing and let them love doing those things for you so you can get back to doing more things you love. Oh, it's all a happy system. Okay, so I'm going to prove to you. Um, so Michelle, let me, I'm going to pause here. Michelle says, there's so many aspects to marketing. It's also intimidating. I know I can't do it all on my own, but what if we don't have other facets of marketing working well yet? I, totally. Great question, Michelle. Thanks for sharing that. But to my earlier point, this is the moment that matters most. The one that you want to fix first. Remember, if you are doing all of that other energy, building the social media, trying to tackle which latest trending social media is working and is worth your time to drive awareness and traffic to your site, but you're not consistently turning that traffic and awareness into profit. Then all of that energy, all of that money maybe you're spending in other marketing is for naught. Okay, so we need to prioritize this first so that you're ready. It's like getting your house in order. I love, I frankly love now we can, people are getting vaccinated, we can have house guests over. Our house is finally clean again. Like it gives, a, it gives us a reason to keep our house clean. <laughs> we wanna get our house clean. We wanna get our marketing, our website, our pricing, our automations, all of that ready for traffic. Okay, you instead of thinking about, oh, they'll be ready when I finally have traffic. No, 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 flip it. You don't want traffic until this is built and done and polished. Okay, how many? I'm going to prove to you that you know if you've been procrastinating, that deep down you are wise also. How many of you watching this already before you even joined today knew on some level that you needed to respond to your inquiries better, faster, simpler, with more professionalism, right? knew that you wanted to have some kind of simple email marketing and nurturing automation in place. Or maybe you've already tried with other systems. How many of you have, have already been working on showing more about the experience, the journey, the products, and the artwork you create earlier in the process and throughout your client journey? You already knew deep down that this was important for your business, but you're wise more than you give yourself credit. You've known your business needed this, but you also knew that you can only do so much, you can't boil the ocean, and somewhere your procrastination was your wisdom telling you to find someone else that loves doing this to do it for you. That is pretty awesome. I hope that helps. Um, Patty, you're amazing. I cannot wait to work with you more. Um, Let's see. Oh, hell no. Trying to do it myself is exactly why I've been praying, paying for various subscriptions and never getting anything done. I'm all about throwing someone else to get this stuff done. Yes, Patty. I love it. One of my best mentors said the best problem solver in my business is a checkbook. When you can find somebody that's good at doing a thing and they have, they have a proven track record for getting something done for other business owners, that is the best way to invest in a team. Oh, guys, let's be real for a second. How many of you have invested in other systems and other training programs with hours of video you need to watch, with hours of impl implementation that you need to do, which I believe there's some, I have good, amazing friends out there that have $2,000 plus programs that I fully believe in that are worth their investment when you have the capacity to learn and implement those things. This is not a training. <laughs> you do not have to watch hours of video to implement this strategy. You are hiring my team to do a service for you. And it's kind of like hiring an employee, but you don't have to train us. You don't have to teach us how you want it done. We just do it because we've already built hundreds and we are already really, really good at it. It's the best way to hire somebody. You don't even have to teach them how to do it, right? <laughs> um, I love it. Um, 
You're super welcome, Wingfield. Um, that last statement is so right. Been paying for sticky for, and still trying to build. Uh, Dennis, I, this is a, this is the hard one for me. It was a, one of the big wake up calls that sticky albums is kind of like a one. They can quickly build one and it's fun and easy. You can build in five minutes. As long as you keep building them, they're great. But connecting funnels, it's harder than I thought. It's something that I'm passionate about. I like dream about funnels. So it's easy, but it's there's no reason that most photographers need to become experts in funnel building. You can build this funnel and forget about it and never even have to log in. When this system's done, the beauty here is you guys never... If it's doing its job, all you have to do is check your calendar for when we're filling it up with consults. That's it. Sticky doc, stickybfy.com slash go. Um, you bet, Patty. I'm so glad that you're on board. This is exactly who we built this for. Okay. Go also on that same page I've been linking. You guys have been seeing. Um, that's where you download the free bonuses. Thanks for being here. It's been pretty awesome. I'm going to wrap up. There's one final warning, last call for questions. If anybody else is on the fence, if anybody, I think there might be a couple, one or two spots left for the one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. If you sign up tonight, probably, otherwise there's, I'm sending out the replay and everybody's going to jump on board and that'll get filled up. I'm going to share this quick conversation that I had with JB that was eye-opening for me. Um, so keep the questions coming though, and I'll, we'll wrap up here in a minute. Okay. What did, where is it? Here he is. So for me, if I'm being just real, how many leads have sat there for three, four days? The message is in my phone. I've seen the Google transcript that it's a lead, but I haven't even really, I, I don't even have the guts to listen to the voice. Cause that's going to cause me more anxiety. I'm like sharing too much. Then everything has to be perfect, right? Okay. I'm going to clean my office before I make the call. I'm going to go on my run before I make the call. And then the day goes by, it's another day. And then you get busy and you say, oh shoot, that person had that lead and they've already called the next studio. Mm -hmm. So you've, mm -hmm. if you haven't lost that lead, you're now competing with three or four people. Probably you're probably competing with the photographer who's charging two ninety five and giving them like 25, you know, images. So if you're a full service, like boutique studio, like we are, I can't even. So I love, I love that message. Every time I listen to it, the co whole conversation I had with him, um, his vulnerability and uh, more and more people are talking about struggling with anxiety as creatives. It's so common, all of the things we've got to juggle. Um, where he would talk about how you, he would kind of revel in getting a lead, sometimes even fantasizing about spending the money before he's even responded to the lead. And what's changed for him is it's holding him accountable. When he gets a consult on his phone now, it's on his calendar, he doesn't put it off. He shows up. He shows up for that meeting confident now because he knows that his system is educating and inspiring and his consults are that much more excited to talk to him. On that note, one more tip. Um, I think I mentioned this before. Um, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to show today. I think that's everything. Um, yes. Okay. So um, let me get rid of that. So by having that accountability, it, he, he'll show up to those meetings. But the, the other piece here, guys, is if you are hustling, you can rest easy knowing, like I said before, if you're on vacation, you're on dinner with your family, whatever it is you're doing important, that this system will be the worst experience. It's never gonna get worse than instantly getting access to gorgeous pricing and inspiration, instantly getting subscribed to your best tips and education and inspiration, and access to your calendar to find time to chat with you. That's the worst it can get when you're on vacation. If on the other hand, you're in front of your desk, you're working, you're checking emails, you're hanging out. Oh, cool. Uh, somebody just booked a time on my calendar for a consult call tomorrow at noon. Sweet. I can, I can take that call tomorrow and just live your life, stay productive if you want to. Or if you want to, you can always interrupt your automations. 
and, and supplement the automation with more generosity, more um, human interaction, right? Just saying, hey, I got your number. I see you, you book time. I'm so excited to chat. I actually just had an opening on my calendar for late in the next 10 minutes if you want to jump on a call right now. So you can do both. You can hustle if you want to to make the system even more powerful. But then as your business gets busier and busier, you can you don't have to worry about not being able to get back to people, not being able to make a good first impression as your business starts to scale. Awesome. Yes. Um, so Michelle, there is an ongoing charge. So you get your whole year free, $6.99 today in nothing for 12 months, all right? Once it's working, once you know that you want to renew, it's your choice. You, if it doesn't work, you turn it off and then you're done, right? But if it's working, we proved you this works in your niche and your business and your area, then it's $25 a month or $249 a year to fill your calendar with consistent consults. That's it. And you don't have to, you, it sets up and runs all by itself. So you don't have to log in and do anything. It's just set up, built, running like a satellite in your business on autopilot. Let me know if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, Keely, thanks. I'm so glad to hear from you. Um, I put this off at first. first I heard, I thought I would DIY. Just, yeah, nope. Just signed up. Yes, I'm so happy for you, Keely. I had a feeling that you were uh, a perfect fit for this as well. I think you've made it under the de under the cutoff for the first five. I'm going to quick check. Um, see if there's anybody else as, as room to jump on board and get the one-on-one -on -one bonus call with me. Um, Michelle, don't apologize. This is a lot. It's it's This is complicated. There's a lot to go over, a lot to cover. Take your time. Uh, I don't want to pressure anybody. I'm here. My team and I are here to answer any questions you've got. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces to the puzzle. Uh, looks like I've got one more spot left. So thank you, Keely, Dennis, Patty, Wingfield, James, Lisa, Stormbear, Sherry, you guys are amazing. I'm so excited to have you on board. Um, so yes, this has been really great. I might do more late night or evening webinars. Um, I like the participation. It might be easier for some of you guys that have day jobs, etc. Okay, before I lose my voice, you guys have any other questions, <clears throat> support at stickyalbums.com. Support at stickyelms.com. I will, if you're attending live, I'm going to, you'll be getting some emails um, with links to the replay. I'll trim this up and polish it a little bit, get the replay out there. Um, links to sign up before the deadline. This discount expires on Friday, end of day. So take your time, get your questions answered. Thanks, Shannon. You're amazing. Let us know any questions you've got. Uh, make sure you're making the right decision for your business now. We're here for you. All right. Um, I'm so excited to get more success stories. More, I can already see Patty. I can just, I, I, Patty and all of you guys have signed up. I'm just so stoked to see this live on your site, to see your products, your gorgeous artwork on mocked up on walls. And oh, it's just, it's so fun to see this whole journey. I've got to go now. <laughs> I'm too excited. I'm running out in pure adrenaline. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Shannon, to the rest of my team. Couldn't do this without you. And you guys, um, this has been amazing. Thanks again for making this um, a really engaging uh, audience again tonight. Have a good one. Cheers.